Hi guys, welcome back. And this is the beginning of your second Italian lesson. In this first part we will talk about the verb to be, verbo essere in Italian, okay? As you can see there are three colors in this document. The red color is the pronoun. You got the English version in the parentheses and the Italian version. So the pronoun I in Italian is io and so on with you is tu. Okay? The blue words are the verbs. So M is translated as sono, ar, as sei, and so on. The black part, these are some Italian words that I'd like to teach you today and, and I'd like to, uh, for you to learn them. Because just like for the words that I showed you in the alphabet, these Italian words are very similar to English. But we will find out about that later. Okay, so after this quick introduction, I'd like to start actually from the third singular persons and the third plural person, okay? As you can see here, I translated he as lui, she as lei, and I translated they as loro. Now, as you probably know, and maybe it's the same in your language, a language is always changing, it's evolving with time. So what happened here in Italian is that if you take an old Italian book, sorry, if you take an old Italian book, he is usually translated as egli, okay? She is translated as ella and it is esso or Essa, if it's a feminine object. And same goes for they. It's usually translated as essi or esse, if it's a group of girls. Thing is that, just like I told you for um, good afternoon, we don't really use that, buon pomeriggio, I'd like to teach you something that you can actually use in real life. Because there is no point in learning something that it's all theory and then when you go to, maybe when you come to Italy, you're, you say essi sono and it's not really used. It doesn't sound good to, to, uh, to our ears in 2020, okay? So, I will just delete this line and I will leave you with this pronouns, okay? Lui, lei, loro. The thing about it is that differently from English, in Italian the, the pronoun is not compulsory in a sentence. So, if, for example, I'd like to say, uh, like, I'm talking about, um, I don't know, the TV. In English I'd say, it's not working. In Italian, we can say just like not working, obviously, in Italian, without the subject, without the pronoun, okay? So that is why I did not translate it at all. But if you want to know how we say it, we usually point out at something like, uh, like that, that is not working, and I'm pointing out at the TV, okay? So... Now I'd like to start with the pronouns. I will read them in English first and then in Italian. And please always repeat after me, okay? So, I in Italian is io. You is tu. <coughs> Sorry. He, we said, we translated as lui. She lei, we, noi, you, as in plural, voi, they, loro, okay, io, tu, lui, lei, noi, voi, loro. Alright, 
Let's move on to the verb now. First person in English is I am. In Italian, io sono. Sono. You are to say. Say. He, she, it is. Lui è. Lei è. We are. Noi siamo. Siamo. You are. Voi siete. Siete. They are. Loro sono. Sono. Ok? I will repeat once again the pronoun with the verb now. Io sono. Tu sei. Lui è. Lei è. Noi siamo. Voi siete. Loro sono. Ok. There is something that I'd like to tell you about the third singular person. So, lui, lei, è. As you can see, on the E there is an accent. It's not a mistake. It's an accent. And I have put it because if you do not put the accent on the E, the E, like this, this in Italian means end. Okay? Like a copy book and a pen. So it is very important that if you write the E, as in the verb to be, verbo essere, you put the accent. It's very, very important, guys, to not make this mistake. Because your sentence will not make any sense if you don't put the accent. All right. Now, once we learned the pronoun and the verb, it's time to learn a to learn some new words, okay? Because glossary is just as important as the grammar. All right. So, these are all words that I probably probably already said this, but these words are Italian but are very similar to English. Like, let's see the first word, arabo. If you delete the o, you can read the English sentence. I am Arab. Io sono arabo. Okay? And same goes for the second sentence. Tu sei calmo. It means you are calm. Like a calm person. Tu sei calmo. Lui è adulto. He is adult. If you want to say she is an adult, you say lei è adulta. Um, I will tell you this, but we'll find out about this later on. Usually, the words that finish with a a, with a a, these are all feminine nouns. If they finish with a, if they end with an o, they are masculines. Okay, this is a general rule, of course. Like in every other language, there are some exceptions, but this is the general rule. Then, noi siamo persone, it means we are persons or people. Noi siamo persone. Voi siete modesti, you are modest, like a modest person. Okay? Modesti. Loro sono veterani, it means they are veterans, like war veterans. All right? So I will read you the, sent the whole sentence now in Italian. And please repeat after me, as usual. <laughs> Io sono arabo. Tu sei calmo. Lui è adulto. Lei è adulta. Noi siamo persone. Voi siete modesti. 
Loro sono veterani. Ok, guys, very well done. I hope it's clear by now that you need to repeat after me all the time. That is why I'm giving you a, a bit of time after I move on to the second, the second sentence, the next sentence. Okay, it is very important for you to repeat everything, even until the point that it does not make any sense anymore to you, okay? Just repeat, repeat, because practice makes perfect, okay? And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you in the next one. We are going to see the verb to have, have got, verbo avere.